guys, welcome. This is a general reading for the collective of Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. How are you, Leo? Welcome cross watchers for Leo. And if you're brand new to the channel, happy to have you join us. Do come in in the comments, say hello. Let me know where you're tuning in from. Um, I do enjoy my little favorite pastime is wrapping up for the day and then heading over to the couch and uh, reviewing the comments and giving you a proper welcome, answering questions, letting you know that I see you and, you know, hearing your experience with the readings. This is an interesting spread that I chose to do. It's new to me, so I'll walk you through it when I get there. I'm pulling from Divine Master's Oracle, Kyle Gray's deck. Let's see what master comes through for you. Lady Portia, overcoming limitations, how appropriate. Karmic release, let go of the need to be right. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, karmic release is um, a good message for this particular spread. So keep that in mind as this spread is more, of, more for you about past relationships, you know, the lessons that you're kind of being forced to contend with, the baggage, the release mechanisms that you need to pay attention to, where they're blocking you, what needs to be forgiven, where you need to look for more self-love, etc. So the reason why I'm doing that is because we just came through the full moon, lunar eclipse. It was full moon in Pisces with a south node eclipse. So full moons are about release, and the south node is the past, releasing the past. And we're headed toward the new moon in Libra. Libra rules, and the today is actually the first day of Libra season. So happy birthday if you're here as a Libra sun sign, watching for a Leo. Um, but the new moon in Libra, the focus is still on relationships, but it will be a solar eclipse, a north node eclipse, which is where we're headed in the future. So our intentions are about what we want from relationships. And so I thought this spread would help us get a little bit more oriented toward what, you know, what kind of baggage we're carrying around, even within the relationship you may be here to watch about, okay? So I'll pull the cards, oof, um, and then I'll give you my overview, and we'll get details from we'll get details from the clarifiers. So, what lesson from past relationships, or even within this relationship as well? We have the Ace of Pentacles. Always a new beginning, uh, but where does it lead? So the bright, shiny object. Um, and so when we look at the baggage, what, what are you potentially carrying forward, you know, from each new beginning that doesn't really kind of go where you thought it would go. Um, and the, the Ace of Pentacles is also an offer. So per, per chance for you, Leo, or those of you who may be here as a cross watcher, this whole reading can be for you too. Um, you know, offers of something coming in that don't materialize. The two of pentacles is, yeah, everything is always up in the air. It's a juggling act. Where is it going? It's, ba it's baggage that doesn't let you kind of see where it's headed. Um, in this particular deck, you're seeing the roiling sea behind this figure and that rainbow. And it's like nothing's really, we don't really get the decision. We don't really get the actualization. It's a perfect um, depiction of what the Two of Pentacles is about, which is assessing realities on the ground. What am I really dealing with? Am I getting this beautiful offer or is it staying offshore in a storm? So that's your baggage that you're potentially carrying forward relationship after relationship into the one you're currently in as well. So release, what do I need to let go of from these past relationships we have, and maybe even the one that you're in. So remember not letting go of the relationship itself, but an energy from it. And we have the page of wands and the page of wands is an interesting message here of release, which is it's sort of something that always stays in that sort of friends with benefits 
zone. Um, that's what I'm getting from this because that can be really exhausting because it keeps you lured in. It keeps you, you know, hoping that the offer comes in. It keeps you on the hook. And yes, what is blocking you um, from either really elevating the love that you're, you know, trying to get from the connection you're in or from finding new love, Nine of Wands. So the Nine of Wands is a card of perseverance. And I normally say, you're so close, right? Don't give up, don't give up. This is a card of pushing forward and, and not giving up and not giving in. But sometimes if you look at, the, again, this, this deck beautifully illustrates, um, sometimes we're, we're persevering um, against all odds in a situation that never materializes, that it's sort of the shiny object that doesn't ever come into shore, that isn't ever going to evolve. Um, and so there's the block. It's like we're worn the F out. We're exhausted and it blocks us because we can't recover. Um, I'm telling you guys, these readings have been cutting to the core. I have had some really amazing comments, people coming in the comments saying, whoa, that went deep. That was really something I needed to hear. And, you know, that's part of what the spread is to help, to help you do is to really prepare for something powerful coming up on October 2nd or 3rd, depending on where you live for that new moon in Libra with the solar eclipse. Okay, so what do you need to forgive? Um, either your, for yourself or just in this pattern of, you know, relationship after relationship and maybe even within the one you're in, this Knight of Wands, it's a pattern. It's the in and out. It's the juggling act. It's the, well, I'm, I'm, I'm sure that this offer is coming or this new beginning or, you know, we have such chemistry and, but it's exhausting you. It's worn you out. It's worn you down. It's in and out. You keep opening the door. You keep letting it come back in and doing the whole thing over and over and over again. Forgive yourself for that. Um, and you know, perhaps if you call it what it is, if you name it, um, you know, that shines a light on it and then you sort of, it's not living in the dark. It's not living in the shadow. And once you name it and identify it, then the next time you hear it and you know what it sounds like, you know, the sentences, you know, the pattern, you're like, it's like a, it's hearing a, a scratched record. And you're like, oh, nope, I gotta throw that one out and get a clean copy. So that's what I'm saying to forgive is that there is this pattern that may be on repeat and you're, you've just gotten so acculturated to it. Um, forgive yourself for that. Because it's passion, 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 <laughs> we've got the page of wands, the knight of wands, the knight of wands, whether you're here as the Leo or, you know, watching about a Leo, it, that's, that's hard to pass up. That's a shiny object, man. That's hard to pass up. So I get it. And it leaves you in this perpetual state of, I don't know, any minute now, any minute now, I'm, the offer's coming in. And then as quickly as it comes in, it goes out the freaking back door. And so self-love, what do you need to work on, right? To foster more self-love, nine of pentacles, little Virgo energy for you, by the way. We just left our Virgo season. The, the nine of pentacles, and I'm giving you the same message that came through for cancer yesterday. It is about acknowledging all of your greater gifts and qualities and not looking at the imperfections. The Nine of Pentacles, everyone else sees her gifts and qualities. Everyone else admires her for her independence, for her autonomy, for her ability to just kind of, you know, her law of attraction game is strong. And everyone looks at her like she has got her 
stuff going like together and it's going on and I wish I could be like her. But we look at that nine of pinnacles and we're like, but we don't have the relationship thing locked down and we don't have this and we don't have that and we're, you know, whatever it is that we look at and the little nitpicky stuff that we focus on keeps us in this energy, keeps us in this energy, keeps us, you know, holding on to little pittances, seeing them as the Ace of Pentacles that they are not. So your self-love has to be focused on what everybody else sees that is wonderful about you and seeing yourself as the diva that you are, um, with or without what you would consider companionship, um, because that's where it has to start. Yeah. So that's where we're going to go. That's what I'm tapping into for this particular reading. I'm going to do a similar kind of a spread in the extended, but for you and the person you're here to watch about. So that one will be more about the two of you, your energy and block, their energy and block in your relationship. I'll read about the relationship. I'll give you divine guidance for it, as well as the potential outcome where things may head. So that one's more about your relationship. This is about you and your past relationships and what needs to be released. Got it? Okay. So Ace of Pentacles, your lesson. <laughs> yes right it's exhausting you keep hanging in there waiting for that offer waiting for them someone to put the damn ring on it the promises promises right feeling feeling the power of the passion and just waiting for it ace of wands ace of pentacles it feels like it's on its way forgiving being in a constant state of reconciliations and reunions, second chances. And it is, nine of wands, it's exhausting. And I understand the, the, the perseverance aspect, the, the, you know, the hanging in there, the, you know, against all odds kind of theory of it. Um, but it does, I was saying to Cancer yesterday, that does have a layering effect. And eventually you kind of have to stop the pattern, right? And brick by brick, pull down, pull apart that whatever you have constructed because it gets in your way. Um, and so if we're here to either build a solid relationship that is loving and equal and fulfilling, uh, but we've constructed some kind of monstrosity, um, you know, we kind of have to knock it down somehow. And I'm feeling like this nine of wands is really problematic. It's the block at this point. So let's see the two of pentacles, the baggage. Right, well, they, it's, it's also the baggage is the stalling for time because the nine of wands, and at first I'm thinking the juggling act, but the juggling act stalls for time. That's part of the part and parcel of the nine of wands, the persevering, the I'm gonna just crawl if I have to because they're gonna come. They're coming with that ace. They're taking their time, they're moving slow. And all I got to do is really help them out and be there for them and give them a leg up. And guess what? And then that cycle, we close that out. We begin again. But no lesson is learned here. So the cycle just repeats. Same cycle. So um, this is Saturn. So for those of you that feel like, like your Saturn returns are really gnarly, that's what's happening here. And if your Saturn return happens to be gnarly around relationships, um, nasty fallouts, breakups, divorces, or something like something like that, or trauma even in relationships, this is this is where we are at. 
because it is that stalling for time to give somebody that you believe or that has sold you a bill of goods even possibly for some of you it's a general reading so i'm throwing that in there right and you keep giving them this opportunity um to come toward you and make good on whatever they promised or said they would offer it's going to repeat release this page of wands from these relationships it is like we have the Page of Wands, the Six of Swords, the Page of Cups, the Six of Wands. So it's almost like part of, part of the cycle is um, this little pattern of, remember the pages are messengers, that's first of all. So we kind of have love and passion, maybe apologies, reconciliations, moving to calmer waters, but it always usually starts with something a little bit more uh, like flirtatious, innuendo, uh, like, you know, cheesy pickup line-ish. It leads with physicality. It leads with you know, something a little bit more intimate toward, you know, work in an angle to just get beyond any disappointment, any conflict that requires some form of reconciliation. And in there, maybe there's an apology, but maybe there's some kind of message of, you know, I love you, you know, you know how I feel, right? Just to get beyond. This is what you need to release because it's immature. It's not evolved. It's part of shtick. It's part of game. And it may be a pattern. It, it's coming through as immaturity. To me, it's coming through as something less evolved, um, and you keep you keep hanging in there for something, and what you're getting is not a king; it's a page, not an emperor. It's page, page behavior, pa and it happens on repeat. So let's look at this block in the nine of wands. It's blocking um, either important conversation about what needs to change or it's blocking you from acknowledging what needs to change. That would lead to some important um, ideas, important embracing of why this happily ever after isn't available to you. I mean, it is available to you, but there's a block here because you're wrung out. And so it's almost as if conversations don't go anywhere. We're not even getting close to talking about that energy of bliss, nirvana, um, that sensation of I'm complete. This feels good. This is exactly what it's supposed to feel like. We don't get there. We're still sitting in flirtation and, and sexy talkville <laughs> being honest so there's a need for some change and it's almost like we're going from the nine of wands into yeah I'm done I don't have anything more to give so there's no communication about what needs to change there's no opportunity for any growth change or transformation um, and so there's really a block about communication there's a block um, for yourself what needs to what you need to leave behind essentially and so we don't even get to this part of the program it stays as an, either an afterthought or just sort of tumbling around on an internal level as oh like where's my happily ever after i'm too freaking exhausted to even think about it so forgive knight of wands
the in and out of the emperor, the in and out of the perception of divine masculine energy that comes and goes and comes and goes and comes and goes. Because at this point, it does feel like that's why you're putting yourself through this dog and pony show because you are sure that this is your divine masculine and so on some level you're doing the stalling for time routine you're giving all these opportunities all these second chances you're literally like crawling from exhaustion and giving this person every opportunity to do this thing over and over and over the same pattern that is now a scratched record that is so badly scratched and you just keep hearing it and it's almost like it sounds normal to you seven of wands and the sun I feel like you need to this is I feel like you need to forgive you. Almost like you're defensive. This pattern is is impacting your happiness. It could be their it could be their resistance that you need to forgive their in and out behavior because it's a form of resistance. But it's also your defensiveness. This card kind of means both. It has, you know, lots of interpretations. But this, what do you need to forgive? That they are resisting some form of investment in this connection somehow, somewhere along the way, right? They're, they're, they're acting on impulse in the moment. I'm not saying they don't desire you. Clearly, they do in this connection. But I'm also looking at past relationships. So there's a pattern here of in and out behaviors, and that's coming either from resistance on the part of people you've been in relationships with and defensiveness on your part about allowing it. And it's keeping you from your happiness. So you need to forgive that. Obviously, you forgive it so you can release it so then you can make a change around it. And don't be surprised if you don't feel a surge of energy just in the, like, I'm not gonna do this crap anymore. I'm just not gonna do it. I'm gonna focus on me. I'm gonna value Nine of Pentacles myself. I'm gonna give to me, cherish me, And I'm going to leap into a brand new day, right? With excitement, independence, autonomy, cut myself from all this pattern bull-ish. I've already sworn too much in this video. So that I can clear the path for somebody who's ready to be emotionally available and vulnerable, right? This isn't just about sexy time. It's about some full-on romance i deserve a romeo i deserve somebody who's like ready to climb the tower and stay and that's my new beginning and the offer only offer i want is their heart are their feelings their emotions, their vulnerability, for them to know what I'm worth. That is your self-love mission, if you choose to accept it. It's a variation on a theme, don't you think? Look at her. I'm coming in close, take a screenshot. Hand on hip. Chin tilted down, giving you some side eye with that gorgeous plumed creature on her hand. Yeah, she didn't have any time 
for waiting for somebody to grow up. Nope, 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 nope. There's no nine of wands crap for her. Mm -mm. Nope. Serious. Karmic release. And yeah, let go of the need to be right here because it's not going your way, <laughs> okay? It's just not. And there's this thing that happens when you say, all right, the definition of insanity is doing the same thing over and over and over again and expecting a different outcome. I'm going to try it different. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do it different. I'm going to do something different. And when you feel your energy surge and something different happens like that, then you'll be back in the comments saying, why did you not do this spread five years ago? <laughs> because you would have saved me a lot of heartache. That's exactly how this thing works. So thank you for the pleasure of your shared energy with me because this was one of, this was sort of, it wrote itself, it spoke itself. It's to me a very common situation. It's a very common pattern. Um, I see it a lot, but it doesn't sort of present itself this clearly. So what I'm going to do is take it to the extended, as I described, we'll look at the connection that you're here to watch about in more detail. The links to the extended are below. I said plural because there are three different ways you can access my extended. So be sure you take note of that. Um, it is a general, not a private. I do offer private readings. If you scroll just a little bit further, you'll see a link to my booking page if you're interested. And by the way, if you have been watching my readings or if this is the first one and you really loved it and if this is speaking to you and validating you, if you're feeling, if you're feeling seen and you have not yet, please do subscribe below. That is my request. That's our energetic exchange. I come here, I read for free, you click subscribe and I get to stay on this platform and do the thing I love the most to do in the world. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I'm headed to the extended. I'll see you there in a second. Bye for now.